we're really new in our building. We're just getting acclimated, getting set in. I would say, though, probably one of the, the biggest apprehensions that our team had coming from our old space to this space was, it's gonna to be too loud, it's gonna to be too noisy. There's some old, old technology in here, things like carpet, lots of soft surfaces, the things that have been around for a long time. Um, but then we also brought in new technology. This uh, technology uses a unique system that doesn't just provide a, a typical standard blanket noise of pink noise or white noise. It actually uses a scientifically derived set of frequencies that are uniquely structured to be able to, in essence, kill a human voice and is extinguished um, with, with distance. I am the Communications Director at Do It Best. And I am a Sales Associate at CSD Group. Today we are at the world headquarters of Do It Best Corp. Do It Best is based in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and we are an international wholesale distributor, member-owned co-op, uh, supporting thousands of independent retailers. As we had an opportunity to move from our previous location to the Electric Works campus, we were looking for an open office concept. However, in an open office concept, certainly for 75 years in our previous building, there were concerns by our staff and by our team, our leadership team, how disruptive would that be in a building that is brick and concrete with high ceilings and hard surfaces? What would that sound like? Would we be able to still work effectively without disruption from those working around us? CSD was employed to create a sound masking system. So that way when people are on their phones or, or speaking with somebody right next to them, their voice doesn't carry down the hard surfaced corridor. We wanted to have an environment where people could collaborate, where somebody could stand on either side of a desk and have a conversation. But we also wanted to ensure that that conversation wasn't everybody's conversation. And so this technology is a big part of how we're able to achieve that, that goal of collaboration without distraction. You know, I think for us, the, the best part of this all is not that people notice it's working, but that they don't notice how well it's working. It has been amazing. It has been amazing. I had the unique opportunity of being here during some of the testing phase uh, where we did some experiments and the results were, were mind boggling. Uh, I, even though I've worked in this industry for decades, I still was fairly skeptical at how it was gonna turn out. Um, and I was blown away with, with the results. So there was a lot of skepticism uh, up until recently, until people started coming in here and then sitting down, getting acclimated to their desk and suddenly realizing, boy, even a few feet apart from somebody or a conversation over there, I can see it, but I can't hear it. So when you see the contrast, that's when it really becomes apparent. So this is an example of normal conversation in a space with lots of hard surfaces and no sound masking. So I'm gonna back up a few steps here, try to keep my volume speaking at about the same level. Can you hear a difference? And here is an example of what normal speech is like with the sound masking. So if I take a few steps back and keep speaking to you at normal volume, this is where you're gonna notice most of the change with all of the emitters between here and there. And what you probably don't know is all the techie stuff that I could go into about how the system actually works, but all you need to know is that my voice is gonna be a lot less obtrusive to you if you're trying to have a phone conversation with the sound masking running than it is just naturally. So when you get a blank slate, you get a start anew in a hundred year old building. Uh, it, it quickly became apparent from our leadership team that that was something that we wanted to incorporate. The number of emitters that, that are deployed here at this facility um, is approaching 800. So my role with this project was making sure all the details came together, hearing what the client had to say um, and making sure that the final product met what their desires were from the beginning. They would do a couple of things. One, would help us attract and retain 
talent in Northeast Indiana. We wanted to be a place people wanted to be. We also wanted to be able to literally break down walls so that we could collaborate a lot better than our previous space allowed us to do. And that was that was definitely met. And I, as I, <laughs> speaking with some people here, sounds like it's been exceeded as well, which is more than exciting. At the end of the day, this technology allows us to do it best.